All right, so that's the moon. And as you can see, the moon's got a halo. There's a whole lot of clouds around it. But what I want to show you, I've never did a film on this. What I want to show you is, let me get the right angle here. Maybe go down the back a little bit. Turn up the driveway, you can't see it. They're coming tomorrow to tamp my driveway down and hopefully pave by the end of the week. Let's see. Here we go. All right, so out in the distance, believe it or not, let's see where that would be. All the way out here. As I zoom in, probably you're going to see it very clearly. But that right there, that's all the way zoomed. That is Venus. That is Venus. Again, there's the moon. That's the moon. Uh, that is Venus. Sorry, I can't get you good footage of Venus. I don't have that extra zoom. I'm zoomed all the way out. But that's about as good as you're going to get for Venus. Figured I'd show you what it looks like from my neck of the woods. And it's approximately 7, maybe 8 o'clock at night. And you can see where it is in relation in, into the sky. And that right there is the west. So it, it, it kind of traverses all the way from the left side. It comes up from the south over here. And then it pretty much just goes across the sky. And you don't see it until the evening because it's not bright enough. But it travels along the sky this way, and it hits to a certain point. Somewhere around the summer equinox, it'll be at farthest point. It might even be right where it is. And then it starts going back that way. But it always travels in this direction like that every day. It travels something like that. And, and it pulls closer this way as we get closer to summer. And then it goes back. And I've been doing that for years. And people were saying that's uh, a planet coming in right here. That's supposed to be Nabiru. That's not Nabiru. That's, that's Venus. I've been watching that planet move for years. One day what I'll do... Um, what I'll do is I'll get my, my scope out. I have a telescope. And I will... I'll track Mars and I'll track Saturn. Now, I can get... Saturn good enough on my scope where you can actually see all the moons on Saturn so we'll work on that eventually in the future I'll track it down on a nice clear night and I'll get Saturn in the scope and then I can film you through the eyepiece so we can do that you know so I know I can get you Saturn I pr pretty much can get you Mars I'm pretty sure I can get you Mercury too but they're really small planets they're like stars and if it's not a really moonlit night like tonight is, I can't film because the camera doesn't work at nighttime. I could try night vision, but it's really, it's not the same thing. I mean, here you can get a perspective of, you know, the time of the day it is. You can see it's the moon's up. It's still kind of blue in the sky, but all the way in the west, it's still a little light out. But uh, we'll work on getting you the rest of the planets. I'll try to film them as they come in. But Jupiter and Saturn, no, nah, they got to be done through the telescope. There's no way I can film that. They're just spots in the sky. You wouldn't see it. But I can zoom them up in the telescope. You can see them pretty good. You could actually see the rings on Saturn. So I got to get that on camera. I'll work on that sometime in the future. And uh, as things uh, move, progress forwards, we'll see where we stand. Maybe I'll have a better location. I can film. From, I'll give you better footage. Alright, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.